Hey beauties, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've already subbed. If you haven't subbed, let's give you some time right now to hit that, you know, that subscription button. Did you do it? Okay, good. So welcome to my birthday edition. I don't know what I'm going to title this as um, because I kind of try to vlog that I was doing my makeup and then I try to vlog that um, I was putting the photo shoot together and then of course my best friend came over to help me save the day I needed her help um, I don't know why I wanted to I mean I do know why we're in quarantine but I wish I would have hired a photographer but you know what we slayed this so you know cheers to my bestie high five girl um, so yeah if you guys want to see how I got this look this hair, um, my outfit, like my whole birthday little function, whatever you want to call this video. Um, make sure you guys continue to watch and of course comment, like, subscribe and let's get started. So it is time to get started with the face. So I've already did my brows. I did them kind of thicker because um, I'm trying to pull out my brows to just reshape them so that's why they're so thick. But um, I'm just gonna put this primer on my lid. And y'all stay tuned. I don't even know like what I'm doing for my birthday um, makeup. I don't know. I'm just kind of going with the flow. I purchased some stuff, doing some DIYs. So yeah, I don't even know how this video is gonna play out. But um, just know I'm recording. So I don't know if it's gonna be a vlog style. I know it's not going to be a tutorial because I'm not about to walk through everything that I'm doing. Um, so it might just kind of be like a vlog. But anyways, my birthday's tomorrow. And we're, well, we're, I mean it's opened up outside. I can go outside if I wanted to, but I don't. So, house party it is with my family. So I think I'm just gonna do like kind of a, a neutral glam look. Um, I just want it really soft, uh, just because I'm inside. So, but I still want it to you know pop, if that makes sense. So yeah. So the color that I'm wearing is um, mint. We are in mint um, aesthetics on Instagram. So if you guys know, if you don't follow me yet, you can follow me at Beautiful Mandy on Instagram as well. Um, I do a color theme and right now I'm in mint. So that's the color I have to choose for my birthday. And it's actually a pretty color. Like I don't really wear mint a lot. It's a really, really pretty color, so. And it's in the green family, and I love green, so. That transition color will work. So I'm going in between, I'm using the um, Boxy Charms palette, a Hello Charmer, and then I'm also using the Kylie and Jordan palette um, to create this look. But it's just like, I'm really messing with browns, so. So next I'm just gonna go into a darker color. Um, I'm loving the way this, it's like a orangey brown, orangey-ish brown, yeah. Yellow brown, or yellow orange um, is on my lid right now. I don't know why this is still in the back of my hand. I already got it on my, my clothes. Anyways, or on my robe. So I'm just gonna go into a darker brown. And um, I switched it to like a smaller blending brush because I just want it in the crease before I blend it out. 
when I switch brushes like this, it makes me feel like a real makeup artist. Because when I do my makeup, I just be using whatever brushes just to get the job done. But I just, I don't know. Today, I just want it to be a little bit different. I was already frustrated with my hair. Um, I was trying to rush my hair and just hurry up and quickly put my hair on. I should have just took my time or I did it last night because today she did not want to cooperate. So I don't know how my lace is laying underneath here because I didn't really glue it down. I just used the hair spray method um, because I need to switch my hair out. So I didn't want to glue it down, but she was giving me a hard time. like, And I sure, I'm sure because I oiled my scalp and you know, my scalp was a little dry. Oh shoot, I'm not showing the, the tatas. Oh, oh. Anyways, my scalp was dry, so I like really oiled my hair really good before I put this wig on. So that could be the reason why she's not sticking. I'm about to go back into that blending brush and just blend that color up. So after I got it blended the way that I want it, I'm just going to take my P. Louise um, and put it like kind of like a half cut crease. And then I'm just going to soften it out. So I could leave it this color, um, but I'm gonna try this. It's like a teal color in this. Let me show you guys. Let me just show you. So it's like this teal color right there. The way my nails. I bought some press ons because I didn't have time to go to go get my nails done. So, um, anyways, um, let me just watch this. Okay. So it's like that. I think that'd be really, really pretty on the lid. So, hope it's pretty and I don't have to start all over because I'm not, I'm not doing that today. I'm already behind schedule, so I hate when you plan stuff and it just doesn't go the way that you planned it and you just have to work it out, so that's what I'm doing, I'm working it out. Let's see. Okay, that's really, really pretty. God marry me. So, I forgot to mention that I did go back into that brown and packed it just a little bit right here. I just thought that looked really pretty and softened up the look some more so not too much but a dab will do 
And um, for my liner, I don't know if I'm gonna do a black one or a brown. Let me go with the black first and then I might just put a brown over it. So, yeah, let's try this out. It's really pretty, I don't wanna mess this up. So I was kind of debating going back and forth if I wanted to add the brown or the black liner. I think I'm just going to stick to black. I tried brown, brown and I kind of left it on there. So it looks kind of cute. I think it's kind of cute. So I'm going to leave it like that for now until I put my lashes on and decide if I want to add a little bit more of a wing liner. But right now, I like my little baby liner. So I'm going to clean the rest of this fallout. started with my face. I swear one wing is always better than the other wing. Like, I don't know what this wing's doing over here, but this one's cute. I'm gonna fix that later, maybe. Cause then I start fixing my wings and then I mess my wings up. So that is the only thing that I feel like I can do a wing liner on anybody else. But it's like my eyes, like two completely different eyes. And the way that it works over here does not work over there. And the way it does work over here, it doesn't work over there. So I guess I have to work with what we got. Um, I'm just so indecisive today. I don't know if that's just a Gemini thing. I'm trying to figure out which lash I want to put on. Let's go for a little bit more dramatic. So... This video is like probably going to be all over the place and I'm sorry in advance, but this is what it takes when you're prepping to get ready for your birthday photo shoot, so when you have to do it by yourself, not when you have an appointment book. If you had an appointment book, if I had a makeup artist that can do my makeup, that would be great, but um, I just don't trust people with my face, and I'm sure there's somebody out there who can do a bomb job, I just... I don't know, you like what you like. And I think that's one thing with even being a makeup artist. Like I think it'd probably be hard to let somebody else do your face. I don't know, y'all. Comment down below and let me know if you guys let other makeup artists touch your face. Um, I really don't. I would love to try somebody like, especially like in my city, I would love to try somebody else doing my makeup, but I just haven't yet, so. There's a couple of girls I have in mind that I love their work, so I might try that out. So the only reason why I put um, a lot of powder on, just because when you're doing photography photo, like you really want your makeup to pop. Um, that's why a lot of photographers like when we get our makeup done because um, it just makes it easier on them, especially when it comes to cleaning up makeup. So it looks crazy right now, but I promise you the picture 
it will pay off. It's all gonna be together. I forgot to put my cream contour stick on. No. A little here, a little there, and then I'm just gonna use powder because I forgot this step. But yeah, so that's why I look like Casper the Ghost right now. But we're gonna bronze our face back up. I want to put some eyeshadow underneath my eyes, so I'm going to use the same colors I use at the top. Um, I think I'm going to start with the darker brown first. And get it as close to my water lash line as possible. You know what, let me put some more powder just in case uh, this fallout because I can see some fallout already. I only did that just because it was falling out, so I don't want all that fallout to mess up this beat because I'm feeling it.
have been loving this Rihanna lip gloss in clear. broken Becca champagne just to put right here. I wish I had something lighter but I can't find anything. This is still pretty so I don't know if it's coming off on the camera but it's really So that completes my face. Let me know how y'all feel. Are y'all feeling this? It's a good birthday look. I hope so. Now to reveal this hair. Like, don't judge me if the lace is coming up. My cap was sliding back. Like, but I, I we're gonna make this work. I promise you guys we're gonna make this work. See, like all this slid back. But that's okay because I don't even need this side so and don't worry about them baby hairs I just need this side to lay and it's laying so see that that's so ghetto you know I'm supposed to be a hairstylist and here I am with some uh, messed up lace today all because I didn't want to keep this wig on and it's just for this picture and I have to switch it for another picture. So that's the only reason why I did this method. And this doesn't have, um, I didn't, this is like a homemade wig, I just made this. Um, so it doesn't have a band in it. That would really, really help me, but I don't have that in there. So yeah, that piece might just come up. So I'm going to style my hair. I'm going to try to do it on camera. I might fast forward this so it goes super fast just because this video is going to be extra long unless I put it in part two. So yeah, but I, I'm feeling the color. I'm loving this blonde wig, which is surprising because I always do dark hair, but um, we're going into 34. So I'm about to spice some things up. I swear people think just because like you get married, you have kids, like our duty is to only be a wife, like baby, no, not me, not me. Maybe like Stella gotta have her groove back, like I'm gonna get my groove with kids, being a wife, feeling myself, and um, not letting myself go. Yes, we have our days and our moments, but uh, I feel like, you know, you should celebrate you. You're still an individual, even though you're together with somebody. You have to make sure you feel okay and you feel together. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's going to be so cute. I'm going to do a side part. I'm going to do a side part. Like I have a, ch I mean, I could do a middle part, but anyway, so yes, back to self-love. Um. You gotta feel comfortable with being who you are. I feel like. And when you're with somebody, they need to love you for who you are. Not saying that you can't like compromise and um, if there's things that need to be changed, you know. But don't change like who, if it's like changing who you are for the worst and it's making you feel horrible, then don't do that. So, yeah. I think I'm going to do a side part. I think that's going to be super cute. I need to put my hot comb on. So, enough about relationships, self-care. If you guys want a video like that, let me know. Like, maybe that would be a good video to um, talk about. But today, we're talking about birthdays. And it's my birthday in a couple hours. So yeah, I'm just going to um, do my hair. And you guys can watch because I don't know how much this is going to record in my hair. But I'm feeling this. Y'all like that? We're not going to worry about this side, but this side's popping, okay? 
Alright, where's my curling irons? Where's all my stuff? Let's get started. It's your fucking birthday. It's a fucking celebration. Tonight we celebrate. Seems like times out of our control. It's a celebration. Oh ho. It's your birthday, baby. It's your birthday. Who's gonna love you on your worst day? You talk so tough. I know. photo shoot that is really cute and it matched um matched my theme and you guys seen this in my try on haul when I did the fashion nova try on haul so yeah I thought this was really really cute I went ahead and went with this one um I still think I might do a picture in the other one but um for right now it's this one so let me know what you guys think about her outfit and let's move on to the photo shoot celebration tonight celebrate Seems like times out of our control. It's a celebration. Oh ho. It's your birthday, baby. It's your birthday. Who's gonna love you on your worst day? You talk so tough. I know. Let's go put the cake. Um, we have like a little area where we're gonna put the cake, so let's go set that up. And right so this is the it's little a setup. Uh -oh. it's super cute. My best friend. Your birthday, baby. It's your birthday. This is my cake. It's so pretty. So yeah, now it's just time to dress. Unless you want to put your hand in here and say hi, or you want to come in and say hi. <laughs> just finished my shoot with my best friend and she took some bomb photos so I can't wait to show you guys um, so yeah let me know what you guys think about this video if you guys like stuff like this make sure you like comment and subscribe and of course I will see you in my next video